guys, this is issue 37 of Build Your Own R2D2. Um, so yeah, in this uh, we're going to be assembling the lightsaber ejector. Okay, so, a few little, few little steps to do. Um, oh, it spans over actually. One, two, three, four, five pages. So yeah, let's uh, crack on. So here we go, we get all sorts of goodies in this one. So we've got a drive motor. There we go. We've got limit switches. So one's on a yellow wire and one is on a black wire. There we go. Uh, we also get a drive gear. Uh, a rack, a load of teeth on, and we get a base plate, which is this little round thing here. And then we also get the two motor housing halves, the left and the right half of the motor housing. And that is everything. So, without further ado, the first thing we need to do. Let's take the rack and then put the uh, what we on the tab. This uh, little black thing we got goes in, and then we have fixed that from this side in with a black self-tapping screw. So let me just grab one. And also, just so, according to the pictures, when you do this, where it says DF86 on the tab there, have that facing down the rack, okay, like so. So yeah, with a self-tapping screw, just going to put a screw through there, like so. That's that part. Next, we need the drive motor. We want part DF81, which is this part with the hole in it there. Uh, we're going to put the, the cable through this large opening. And then the motor slots into into that casing like so. Now it'll only go one way because it's sort of shaped like the motor so you'll see. Okay so once that's pushed through there like so we are going to attach the drive gear to the motor, like so. And then okay, next we want the limit switches. And I'm just going to check. Yeah. So we want the black limit switch. Will fit on this knobble here. And let me just check. Yeah, facing down. So that'll go on there like so.
and then you can see that like that. So you've got the switch itself protruding downwards. So the black one slots in there. And then we want the yellow one, which will go on the opposite side up here. Again, pop that in and the limit switch. will be facing downwards towards the bottom of this rail. So then you should have something that looks like that. Okay, and then we'll then be placing this the rack system which we did earlier in the slot. Obviously that knobble on the end is what's going to activate the switches. So make sure that knobble is in between those switches. I'm going to put mine about there. And then that should fit nicely on the motor there, like so. And once all that's in place, we're going to place the top cover. And I'm just going to make sure that sits nicely. Yeah. And then we're going to place the top cover on. And then let me see, finally we're going to want to put I'm just trying to see the picture, sorry, I'm just trying to work out Right, we're going to put a screw up here in that one there. You can again tell this side fits inside there so you want to be screwing on the flat surface. Okay, We're going to use a self tapping screw for that. So I'm just going to pop one of those in. Right, okay, and then the other two holes at the top here. So that's one. Sorry if you can't see for the minute, it's just really a bit fiddly, so there we go. And that is that assembly done. Okay. And then finally This is where we're going to need the long screws. Which we got in a previous issue. You want one of each of the long sizes, there's two. So 
obviously on one each of those. And then we want the beholder, which we did earlier on. So that is going to pop up Okay, yeah. So I hope you can see that. Obviously, that bit will go up into there and then slide it down, and then this screw hole will fit in between. You can see there's like a groove in there. So just sort of push that up and in, and then close that so it fits like so. Then we want the large screw through this part here because obviously it's wider. I'm going to do that now. Like so. And then the shorter of the long screws will go in to the top pole. Like so. And then we should have something that looks like that. Okay, and then what we need to do next is take the cap we had in an earlier issue and that will be going on the bottom like so. So the flat part will go against that bit there and then those screws will line up. There's two at the bottom there, one and on the opposite diagonal there. And then using the two, two black fixing screws, just attach that. Obviously make sure the part number there, DF, was that 80? Yeah, DF80 there, obviously facing down, because you don't want to see that. Not that we will see it, but and in fact, it's the only way it can go anyway. Okay, so I'm just going to start that one off. And then just tighten those down. There we go, like that. And then we have the assembly complete. And we'll have two plugs on that, obviously one for the drive motor there, and then obviously one for the proximity sensors. Okay, so that was another four issues done for this month. That was the last issue, which was 37, and I'll see you next month now for the next four. If you haven't already, I am doing the Build Your Own DeLorean as well, um, so check out my channel for those videos if you are interested in those. Um, again, thanks for your support. Please like, share, subscribe, 
and I'll see you next month for the next four issues. Take care.